I disappear against this car. Hey, Dennis Gage here down in sunny Stewart, Florida for Auto Geek's eighth annual detail fest right here on the grounds of AutoGeek.net. Cool car show held at a very cool company. Wild cars are all sorts of different stuff. So let's go around and look at a few of them. What do you say we take, take Ivan with us? The definition of juxtaposition. We've got the Messerschmitt microcar and the ridiculous mega truck. <laughs> it's a very, very special car. The engine's a 427? Yeah, 650 horses. Wow. A lot of torque and a lot of horsepower, Dennis. It really goes. I'm sure it does. <laughs> These didn't go all the way down, did they? No, or, they don't. That's as that's, far as they go, right? That's about as far yeah. as they'll go. And, this... and the seats, Dennis, came out of a Galaxy XL. Uh-huh and they fit in there. Of course, the console was all custom fabricated. But if you look at the front, it has the uh, single headlights. Yeah, the 58 and 9 were dual. 58 had duels. And so did 59. And right. you know, uh, the 57 Chevy always gets all the attention and stuff, but I actually always felt this was a prettier car. Chevrolets are popular to these guys, but this is the real deal. Yeah. I like to catch these 57s on the road with this motor. I'll show them how a Ford runs. Yeah, that's a, <laughs> a strong engine. That's a strong engine. Well, John, it's good to see you again, man. You too. I saw this truck. I just thought it was beautiful. So I'm down here at, at Detail Fest. I go, oh, look, there's a truck like John's. No, wait, that's John's truck. <laughs> and lo and behold, yeah. she still looks great. Yeah, it's uh, been driven uh, 27,000 miles since you saw it first time. And it's been in seven different magazines. God knows how many car shows it's won. When I first saw it, it just really did knock me out. It's a beautiful 55 F100. You know, looking subtle, you know, it's, it looks kind of stock. If you don't look too close, you know, lowered a little bit and all that, right. and, you know, trimmed up, shaved up a little bit. But you go to the interior, obviously, like you say, what, 27,000 miles of, of, of road work. So you, you built it to be, you know, a nice cruiser. Exactly. Uh, Six-speed transmission. So Six that's, that's, that's your first indication that something's going on here. Right. These are 55 Bentley door panels, knock off of a 55 <laughs> Bentley seat. Um, very nice, and also very red. Uh, Porsche lipstick red. I yeah. said it's got to be Porsche lipstick red. He not only got a Porsche lipstick red, he got the, the hides from the guy in Germany that supplies Porsche. So not screwing around. Oh, no. No, no. we weren't no. screwing around. So, <laughs> uh, and still to this day, you open up that door after the window's been closed. And and it's got that. <laughs> you, ah. yeah, 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 <laughs> but not. I tell you, it's the, it's the bed that it's just an absolute knockout in this yeah. truck. I mean, holy cow, you know. This is spectacular. You couldn't cover this up. No. It's just too good. So what's the frame? Is it a... The frame is the 55 it's, Ford it is pickup 55. frame. Wow. Rabbit is our fabricator up in Georgia. Yeah. He was Bill Elliott's fabricator during Bill Elliott's heyday. That's the independent rear out of the 03 Cobra. And then Rabbit fabricated all the mounting brackets and built our own coilovers and, and lower control arms. I mean, you were originally thinking of putting a standard bed on this, and when you didn't yeah, use one, we, man, this is just so, this is spectacular. We, well, I was walking down the street, and there was a Ferrari Modena, and it had a, a clear opening into the engine compartment. And that's where I got the idea. <laughs> I said, that's what we're going to do to the bed. Well, now, you know, it's, it's, it's fantastic. This is out of the 03 Cobra, but that's not the only thing you took out of the 03 no, Cobra, right? right? No, no. It says 55 pickup on an 03 Cobra. Basically. Yeah, Truckin' Magazine did a, an, an article, and it was titled Mustang in the Skies. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, you know, that engine is one of the baddest engines ever built. Let's look at that baby. Yeah. These 55 hoods sometimes don't want to cooperate, but the wow. engine uh, in the Mustang is 390 at the crank. And we have 510 at the wheels with this motor. Well, this is actually a pretty special engine, isn't it? Well, yeah, the 03 Cobras. This is, was Ford's mod motor, which is a 4.6, right? which is 281 cubic inches, four cams, yeah, supercharged. And they rated it 390 at the engine. And I think it's underrated because we ran a chassis dyno on it 
and just by taking off the air cleaner, we gained 40 horsepower. <laughs> so it is. Oh, but you know, it's, it's so. I mean, it's a four cam engine. It's just it's spectacular. It is built Ford top. That's for sure. <laughs> Everything we have is built, built Ford, Ford top. top. <laughs> exactly. She looks. Boom. As good or better than when I saw it six years ago. Well, you know why it it has a fresh paint job on it from <laughs> crashing. It, it had a little like man, it yeah, happens. Little, you know that happens. You know. Yeah, it's called old timers. <laughs> <laughs> Left it in the driveway without the emergency brake on and it coasted down through the neighbor's that yard. Gravity and thing. The good news is it hit that tree because where we live in Georgia. If it, it wouldn't have hit that going. tree, it wouldn't, we might not have ever seen it. I might have reported it as stolen, <laughs> you know. I well, I'm glad, in a twisted way, I'm glad the tree was there. I'm glad you fixed her back up, and I'm glad you brought it out to detail fast. Well, good. Glad you're here again. Beautiful. Thank you. Beautiful truck, John. Thank you. Glad you enjoy it. Just follow me through this way, and I'll start the tour. Now this is really cool. It's like a 35, 36 Austin 7 boosting a tiny little four cylinder engine. This is a supercharger, I, I think. I mean, it's, I don't know where else it would be. I genuinely don't understand this engine, but I bet it's a screamer. It makes it so much easier to get the spark plugs. This guy's out of his freaking mind. This is a, this is a six liter Corvette engine in a Miata. You need professional help. <laughs> That's what it's all about. Isn't it? Isn't it is. If it you're is. Be a little crazy with your cars. Wow. And, yeah. Have a little fun with them. I can't believe you can even do it. I can't believe you can even fit it in there. Yeah. It's it's a very very tight fit, but it does work. Holy yeah. cow! But when you close it down, you know it just basically looks like a Miata. You know? <laughs> but that's not like any Miata. Like no, Miata. but it doesn't sound like a Miata. <laughs> Not like any Miata I have ever heard in my life. Yeah, that, that is a badass car, man. <laughs> it is fun. Well, Steve, you know, I mean, the 70 Coot is a beautiful car to begin with. But man, what has been done to this is beyond belief. I mean, there's resto mods. And there's rest of mine. Oh yeah. But oh, yeah. this is this is a masterpiece. Who did this? This is a total transformation done by Steve Stavesky out in uh, Hudson, Florida, Time Machines. Jeez, and, I mean, and this is an all panel, uh, everything redone here. There's nothing original about this car. Uh, even shows it's a 70 Cuda, shows a, a 71 grill. Uh -huh. But uh, everything about the car has been totally transformed into this uh, retro rod. Well now, uh, it's obviously lowered. It is. Uh, is it still on a Mopar? You know, undercarriage or is a complete frame? Complete, complete frame off. It uh, the Mopar undercarriage has been taken out. It sits on a Art Morrison suspension uh -huh. chassis. Drives just like your late model sports car. It's an incredible, incredible drive. Kind of a wild color. Kind of almost a you know, it's a periwinkle blue purple type. It's a Ferrari blue. The, the paint came from the Ferrari factory. It's a Ferrari blue paint. It's an Aston Martin interior. Well, then you, I mean, she shaved everything. There's no everything handles, shaved. There's no trim. There's you know, I mean, it's just as clean as can be. It's a straight, it's very, very straight car. And then, you know, kind of this pumpkin colored interior. And are the gauges set farther back in there? Uh, not really. The gauges are, are basically against the firewall. Uh, you would have you would have more of the firewall coming out, but the gauges were set back. And they're really right behind the engine uh -huh. and set in there. Uh, ostrich on some of the appointments, your carbon fiber. Uh, just oh, a, yeah, just yeah. a whole different custom look. It's a uh, it's a very very unique different look. You ain't a kidding. And again, I mean, just every everything. I mean, every every line on this is just. And is this? I mean, is this a, a factory that, original? That is a standard tuck. The car has been tubbed. Everything's on a on a quick device. Yeah. We have uh, different components that if you don't have your your keys, you your ain't mod, getting. In. Oh, you can actually. Yeah. There's there's different components that will 
let me open the trunk from the side. Oh, and the trunk's done pretty nicely too, I would say. The trunk's done very nicely. The car was featured in the 2009 SEMA show. Uh -huh. uh, it was the Sony car for SEMA. Sony donated all the equipment for the car. You could put a lunch box in there and that's sure, about it. You sure, know? sure, <laughs> it's, it, it's, been, it's been modified pr pretty much pretty well. The wheels, uh, all the wheels were all Custom done, uh, one timers. Yeah, drawings were yeah, made. Yeah, which up. are and they're gorgeous wheels yeah. too, yeah. man. You can see inside that the gray matting matches your uh -huh. your back panel and the front grill as well. Yeah, it's, so clean. It, and I see poking out of the hood there. It says 6.1 Hemi. 6.1 Hemi. Let's yeah. go look at that baby. You got it. All right, and here's the beast. Well, that's you've, uh, yeah. <laughs> you've got a you've got a, a 2009. Hemi in here, 6.1 Hemi out of a 2009 Chrysler. What makes this uh, engine unique is uh, we added the Kembel supercharger in it, uh, which is making it north of about 710 horsepower to the back wheels. Holy cow. Uh, you have your shroud. Yeah, that's really uh, clean. Framed in on both ends and just gives it a real clean look. You'll notice that the engine is pushed back against the firewall. Yeah, for yeah, it's set back quite a ways. I mean, you got a lot of just open space, I would imagine here. And the shaker hood comes up with the hood. Yes. I, I kind of like that. Yes. It's, a, it's sort of an illusion. You got it is an illusion. Shaker, yeah? Actually, when you close the hood, the engine isn't really situated underneath no, it's not. the yeah. underneath there. So it's more of a showpiece than anything else. Mr. Norm uh, insignia here. Was that just for fun? That was a, that was a, that one of the guys from Mr. Norm did his little art on there, and it was uh, done he, when the car was built. He built some pretty mean machines back yeah, in the day yeah, too. Yeah, a lot of a lot of the late model transformations. Man, I'm, I'm telling you, this is, uh, I, I mean, like I said at the beginning, the, the 70 Coot is a beautiful car, but what has been done to this car is beyond belief. This is just, this is elegant muscle. A serious resto mod. Beautiful car. You Steve. got good taste. <laughs> so do you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. So I said there was a little bit of everything here. This would fit nicely into that category. It's amazing what they rent down here. Hey, 8th Annual Detail Fest is a blast. They'll be the ninth next year. Come on down.